For the Press Corps, I am Pedro Dumont. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you the latest news from the Siva Valley conflict. Here in the 188th conflict of the Foxhole War, it is day two. Siva's troops of the Warden Empire clashed with the Legion of the Colonial Republic in 108th conflict of the Foxhole War. With the expansion of the war zone into the island regions in the east and west, both countries are preparing the deployment of their naval assets. Reminder here that the press corps is focused on the Able Shard. Casualties for this war are over 20,000, with the Wardens at a 5% share of these losses. Clastra and the Drowned Vale are the deadliest regions, with over 3,000 total dead. These numbers have been provided to us by foxholestats.com. Now, this war on land has seen a clear cut across the River Mercy, with Wardens staging north and Colonial south. Meanwhile, on the island regions, to the far east and far west, an interwining mix of blue and green as the shallow water skirmishes are, permitted, are predicted to erupt along the coastlines of these new strategic locations. Major cities beginning the war as neutral along the former demilitarized zone include the Manacle in King's Cage, Abandoned Ward in the Deadlands, and the Treasury in Clastra. Wardens have managed to take all these three cities as of day one. At least 10 colonial troops were spotted capturing Fort Barley in the Fingers, flanking around the warden positions in the Plank House and Headsman Villa. The wardens were able to capture Exile in Godcrofts via an amphibious maneuver, setting up an approach towards the Axe Head and isolating the colonial head Lipsia. In Fishman's Row, the wardens managed to achieve the initiative by capturing Duncana Post Relic Base in the main landmass, just outside Colonial Head Arcadia, although the capture has since been turned neutral. Resource distribution for the start of the war has seen some interesting developments. In the Stone Cradle for the Wardens and Alad's Bide for the Colonials, six oil fields are located, the most of any other region, including the far northern and far southern regions. The Deadlands are home to four coal fields, as are Calhans Pass in the north and Umbral Wildwood in the south. Analysts say these regions are slated to become central points for a variety of warden and colonial facilities in the very near future. Six colonial fields can be found both in the weathered expanse for the wardens and Sableport for the colonials, most of any other region. Siva's Reaching Trail and the Valiant-controlled Great March each have three sulfur mines and two sulfur fields. Each of the island regions have two oil rigs, while the coastal regions have one. Now that the inland regions have any oil rigs, for likely obvious reasons. Reports show that all component deposits are located in the far northern and far southern regions, though we sadly like precise locations. In other news, Cronus Winter of the colonial base WLL has been seen on this broadcast working with the Brazilian regiment UBGE to establish facilities in Red River and Calakai, focusing on coal, oil, and high explosives. Helping Hans of the colonial-based Shred has been seen on his broadcast attempting to contain the Warden Bridge, crossing out of Mercy's Witch, Wish in Lockmore. His fate is currently unknown. I Saw a Bear has been seen joining the Warden-based Polish BA Regiment in the fight to keep the treasury in the Clastra, establishing trenches and foxholes within the town as colonials attempt to break through. Weather remains fair for now. Go to PressCorpGaming.com slash weather for the latest weather readings gathered by our volunteer Storm Chaser Corps, and become a Storm Chaser yourself. For the Press Corps, I am Pedro Dumont. Thank you. On with the broadcast. The Press Corps is an all-volunteer creative collective of reporters, broadcasters, artists, and more from the MMO video game Foxhole, developed by Siege Camp. Our mission is to engross our audience in and amplify the stories of this unique war ecosystem. The Press Corps was founded in 2018 by former Planetside 2 Radio Free Araxis host, Captain in Arms. It is a separate community entity and is not officially representative of Siege Camp. For more information, visit our website at PressCorpGaming.com. That's P-R-E-S-S-C-O-R-P-S Gaming.com.